Hey folks, it's Balen Fieldson again. I'm here to show you the latest upgrades to Tap and Tilt, which is the slab fondler client um, for playing music in domes. Um, I'll uh, uh, go ahead and show you the uh, interface just for Tap and Tilt today. We're not going to go over slab fondler since we already know how that works. Um, the app uh, that I've built is uh, Tap and Tilt. We're, uh, we, we're going to have a look at it in here. Um, it has a collection of instruments that are all configured inside of a, an array, and this is how they look in, inside of the game. Um, when I run the game, um, we'll get a different interface. I'll go ahead and run it here, and it's just going to be in the primary screen. Now, this is the PC version. There'll be a Mac version available pretty soon. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so it, it, it comes up with the, all of these little icons. Each of them represents a different uh, sample. And um, my, my, my interface here with the phone um, uh, points at different things. And when I point at them, it, it causes it to make noise. If I want to select it, I can hold my finger down on the controller and then move it around in the, uh, in the scene. Um, And um, you can adjust the properties of a given uh, item. Um, so let's take the C note right here, and uh, and I'll grab with one finger, and then I can adjust the volume with the other by dragging down, um, or I can adjust the pitch by going left and right. And you can only do that for items that you have selected. And uh, yeah, um, here are the cursors that are visible. Um, one for each of the fingers uh, that touches the, the screen. And Yeah, so um, almost any number of players can get in here and uh, do their, their own interface. Oh, that's slow. Anyway, so this ought to be fun for people to play with at the uh, Dome. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, uh, maybe see you guys at Dome Lab.